Hello, welcome to another video in Fun Probabilities. This one I saw a number file just a, an hour or so ago, and they called it the Lewis Carroll's Pillow Problem. And there they just d developed and discussed the intuition behind it and stated the probabilities, but they didn't go through the calculations. So in this video, I want to go through the calculations and show that it does indeed equal two thirds. <coughs> So first, let's set up the problem as I like to think about it. So step one, in the other room, unbeknownst to us, a red or green ball is placed in the bag, or a bag. Each ball has a 50-50 chance of being placed in the bag. In step two, they bring us the bag with one ball in it. We give them a red ball to place in the bag. Now the bag has two balls in it one red and one unknown. Step three, a ball is randomly drawn from the bag. Step four, we want to find the probability that a red ball remains in the bag given a red ball was drawn during step three. And now let's go through the calculations. <laughs> So let's let O be the original color of the ball placed in the bag. It could be either red or green. Let's let A be the color of the ball in the bag at step four. So we've in at, so A represents we've drawn a ball out of the bag. What color of the ball remains? It's either red or green, as we can. Right. So let B be the color of the ball drawn at step three. So there's two balls in the bag, one red we know, and the other color we don't know. And we, then we draw a ball and observe the color and it's either red or green. And as stated before, we want to find the probability that a red ball is in the bag given that we drew a red ball at step three. And what they is, is interesting is bef when they come into the room with one ball in the bag, the probability of a red ball in the bag is 50-50 or one half. But when we go through this exercise of placing a red ball in the bag, and then we happen to draw a red ball, then the probability of a red ball being in the bag is no longer 50-50, it's two thirds. And these are the calculations. So we need a couple calculations before we go through this. Since this is a conditional probability, we want to find the, the intersection of these. So probability of A is red and B is red, divided by the probability that B is red. So we're going to find these pieces over here. So the probability that B is red, <coughs> meaning the, the color of the ball that we draw out at step three, is equal to, well, we introduce a variable here called O, which is the original color of the ball, and we sum over all its possibilities. And then this, this intersection can be written in conditional probability. And then to be very explicit, then this little O can be a red, and then we add it to it being a green. And then when we calculate these probabilities, the probability of the original ball red is one half, the probability that the ball oh yes the probability that the ball drawn out is red given that the original one was red is a hundred percent right both of them are red here the probability that the original ball was green is a half the probability that we draw out a red given the original was green is 50 you know one half and so the probability of b equal to red is three-fourths add those together now the probability that a is red and b is red is we use a similar approach we introduce another variable and sum sum over all possible values so this is equal to this probability but this can be written in conditional probability probability of o times probability of a and b given o and to be very explicit of what we're summing out, we sum over red and green. So O can be red plus, or O could be green. Now, the probability that O is red is a half. 
Now the probability that a red ball is, remains, we drew a red, given the original was red, is 100% or 1. Here the probability of drawing a green originally, or then placing a green in the bag is 1 half. The probability that we, that the ball in the bag is red after we draw one out, the probability that we draw a red, given the original was green, is impossible. So the pro that probability is zero. So this probability is one half. So now that we, we can find the probability that the ball in the bag is red, given that we drew out a red, is this intersection divided by the marginal, the probability that B is red. And we calculated this to be one half. And this was three-fourths. And so the probability is two-thirds. And that's what they were discussing in the number file video. And I love number file. And I just thought this would be kind of a nice illustration for one of their problems. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.